Meanwhile, at the same time Saturday, just a few miles away, Norfolk State will host Hampton University in the Battle of the Bay. Nathan Epstein joins us tonight with a preview of that big MEAC game. The Spartans of Norfolk State and the Pirates of Hampton. It's a rivalry that's talked about in the barbershops and the beauty salons. Uh, it, it splits churches down the middle. The Battle of the Bay. The community is uh, involved, the community is aware. Everybody, everywhere you go, they say, in, uh, beat Norfolk. In 52 meetings, the Spartans lead the overall series by just one game, 26 to 25, with one tie. Off the field, it's, it's, it's cool. You know, we still have our, our hatred for each other, but you know, on the field, it's, it's real bad blood, and you know, just being a part of a rivalry is big. Hampton quarterback David Watford transferred from the University of Virginia, but as a graduate of Hampton High School, he knows what the battle will bring. You know, I've experienced the whole atmosphere and how the crowds are and how you know how exciting the game is. So I've experienced it and just to be able to play in it for the first time is you know very big for me. I'm very excited about that. Norfolk State first year head coach Latrell Scott has actually played in this game as a tight end at Hampton. It makes for great conversation between friends. I mean, we've got friends that will be at the game. I've got former teammates that have been at the game. They've made no bones about it. They're, they're not cheering for us. His and the Spartans' priority will be to slow down the top scoring offense in the conference. I think with both offenses, it, it'll make entertainment for the fans. But I think both defenses are great defenses also. You look at Deion King, a young man that's you know averaging 15 or 16 tackles a game. I think it's great to be able to watch kids like him play. Uh, Miles Groom's a defensive end from over Hampton's a great pass rusher. So you'll see a lot of offense, but you'll see great defense as well. For Coach Connell Maynard, now in his second year at Hampton, it's about respecting a Spartan squad still in search of its first win after three road losses against FBS opponents. Norfolk State's the best 0-3 football team in FCS football. Could be the best team that we played all year. <laughs> The battleground is Dick Price Stadium in Norfolk. We're challenging the community to come out and support both teams. These young men deserve to play games in front of the biggest crowds. Uh, so we're, we're just looking forward to a great afternoon on Saturday. And much more than bragging rights at stake come 4 o'clock. In Norfolk, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rack.